Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Troll Media signing in. It is a little after 9 o'clock on New Year's Eve. Look at that. Two videos in one day, guys. How about that? So, again, uh, I bumped into this guy, Jonathan Penny, I believe his name is, on, uh, on Facebook uh, not too long ago. I got a couple videos up of him. And this guy, he... It's hard to explain, but it, it is so fucking cringeworthy, alright? So this man claims to be handicapped, and he may as well be, okay? Who, who cares? But he's homeless. He uses his phone. He's always out with his phone, video, videoing everything that happens in his life, okay? He has now... Somehow he purchased uh, a, a piece of property, okay? Somewhere in, uh, uh, where the fuck is it? Hold on a second. Let me see where the fuck it was. I forgot where the fuck it was. Let me see. Let me see if I can fucking remember where, what state this Arkansas it is. Uh, Little Rock, Arkansas area, all right? So, we all know. You need to have, when you purchase property, you, if you want to fucking build a hobbit hole like this guy wants to, and just live in a fucking dirt hole in the ground, uh, you got to buy the proper property, okay? There's commercial property, there's this property, residential property, and then there's unrestricted property, like what I'm on. I can do whatever the fuck I want here. I can fucking shoot guns. I can fucking live in a hole. It don't matter. Well, this idiot bought property for a dollar, okay? In a subdivision somewhere in Arkansas. And, oh my gosh. Oh my God. There is... There's fucking bylaws. There's fucking regulations. There's fucking building codes. You can't live there in a non-permanent structure. Dude... Jonathan, Penny, whatever the fuck your name is, dude, get your head out of your fucking ass. For fuck's sake, dude. You say that it's against your constitutional right to have whatever? Dude, get your head out of your fucking ass. There are reasons for these laws, you dumb fuck. So that people like you don't go building a fucking hole in the ground and making a mess and living in it. Well, other people are trying to have a nice home in a nice neighborhood. Okay, dude? I, I, seriously. There's a reason that property was only a dollar, I'm sure. Okay? Uh, seriously, guys. Okay. So, I'm going to I'm going to patch in the fucking videos that he posted. Look him up on Facebook. Jonathan Penny or something. Let me let me see if I can't find him. Hold on. Let me find Okay, it guys. So, this is the guy Okay, look him up on Facebook. He's not, it, it, it's not, you know, you can, I'm not even friends with him. And you, you can share his shit. You can comment on it, I guess. And here goes his video right here. I just, I just downloaded it a minute ago. And what, what does he say? More call for, I mean, come on, dude. He's, I mean, this guy's a fucking complete idiot. All right. Find him on Facebook, all right? And look at the, look at this shit. Look at this fucking dog. The wiener dog is in a very, very precarious area. If the big dumb one farts, she's a goner. Anyway. Oh, yeah, look at that, guys. The balls have dropped. Anyway. Okay, so I'm going to put up the two videos that I that he just posted tonight. I'm going to put them on my Facebook page, on my YouTube channel real quick. You guys watch it. Let me know what you think. This, I mean, I think this guy is just a piece of shit looking for trouble. He has absolutely zero, fucking zero life skills. At all. Like, nothing. He's a piece of fucking trash. Alrighty, here you go, guys. One, two, three.
anybody I can speak with, please? About? I recently purchased land out here and been a little bit of complication so far. Okay. So I'd like to speak with some sort of management or something. Well, I'm, today nobody is here today. Um, owner services is here, but as far as general manager or management, okay, they... I'll talk with owner services. Okay. And your name? Jonathan Penny. Jonathan Penny. P I N N E Y. There's a Jonathan Penny here that would like to speak to someone about some problems he's having. Uh -uh. Okay, thank you. Should be right up. Sorry, it's wrote on a napkin, but here's a detailed description of the situation I've had at hand, and it's been frustrating what I've had to deal with so far. I really hope to see an end to the problems. Can you kind of give me a short version? Essentially, me and the girl got the land out here. Mm -hmm. We came out here investing everything that we had mm -hmm. and dropped our stuff off. Got it so it would be secure while we were intending only on spending a day or two in town. And instead the vehicle broke down while we were in town and we were stuck out there until just a few days ago. And we show up, we got a post on our property saying something about refuse or litter being on the property or something along those lines. Uh, a security guard then later showed up just last night, evening-ish. Police officer? Yes. He, or er, addressed himself as being a lieutenant uh, and said something along the lines of we're not allowed to camp on our own property or something like that. That's correct. As far mm -hmm. as that is concerned, even if that were the case, which is unreasonable expectation on us and is not acceptable, that's uh, an excessive overreaching provision well, which it, it's under our covenants you cannot have any temporary structure on a vacant lot now as far as them that is code that is city code that you ordinances can't and policies can't violate the constitution i have a right to be secure myself and property from any unreasonable searches and seizures that's in the you constitution you know where the police itself. department is yes i suggest you go there because mm. there's nothing i can i can tell you because under our covenants, it says that you cannot have any temporary structure. And then the city, our code enforcement officer, Dallas Clark, he enforces that. Mm. He has his code. So if you works. make a policy that's in violation of the Constitution, it doesn't mean that it's able to be upheld. And uh, if you guys that. want to sit there and cause problems, yeah. I can't help you. my fee state... Because we are the Property Owners Association. This is the club. We are separate from the city. So you'll need to talk. You'll need to go over to the mayor's office, which I don't know if he's there since it's New Year's Eve, uh, or to the police department. Uh, that's the only thing I can tell you. Uh, I don't know if Dallas is in his office. He's oh. in the mall area where Eagle Pest is. Oh, me and my girl are both disabled. We plan on doing our own means of construction that will not require any permits, will not be expecting any difficulties. We just want our peace on our land. All I can tell you is go talk to the city. There's nothing I can do. I don't have, I don't have any management here. I mean, it's, it's under our covenant, so there's nothing I can do. That's I can tell you about it. I can have our attorney call you, you know, possibly maybe next week. I don't know. But, uh, but I suggest that you go to the police department. Well, I've already got my copy of that letter there and everything, so I mean, I'm well, doing my best to try and address everything. I'm not trying to cause any problems. I'm not looking to make enemies. I'm just simply looking for my peace. We bought the land so we'd stop getting harassed saying we can't be here, we can't do this, can't do that. No, this is my land. I just want my peace. I suggest you talk to the city. Thank you. Thank you.
a reading of the documents which I have prepared and am going to be providing to the community club. I purchased land I identified it is lot 227, block 12, Chelsea Blade, Pine Knot Drive. I arrived to find an inaccessible lot, not clearly distinguished nor marked to identify it. We unloaded our tools and supplies and drove to the nearest town that had sprint service to try to start getting things in gear and to get supplies. After much nonsense there, we returned as soon as possible December 27th to find some orange flyers citing our property as litter or refuse violation. And on Sunday, I had a security guard identifying himself as a lieutenant and began to threaten that he would return Wednesday and we would be cited then for unauthorized camping or some such nonsense. I own this land. I will not be not denied access to it. We have barely begun to clear the debris left from years of neglect, which if this community had any viable interest in the upkeep of this er, interest in the upkeep of this land, has injured myself in leaving said issues for me to have to deal with. As such, I trust such care is not the claimable interest of the community of Fairfield Bay and the refuse or litter notice is in violation. Or you can pay me $50 per hour I spend cleaning the rotten debris from my own land and surrounding lands as the neglect presents health hazards and mold fire hazards and spreading and damage to property from fallen trees due to the poor maintenance. To have already been illegally threatened by a civil servant for enjoying my right to access my own property, I expect a prompt payment of $15,000 for the injury to my rights and hereby inform you I will be charging $5,000 per appearance compelled to appear before any court or arbitration agent. I will further be assessing a $2,000 charge for any unreasonable frustration caused by the agents responsible. Note my membership documents were amended to reflect reasonability as the limitations. Also, any violation of constitutional rights will be charged $15,000 per agent responsible for such act, whether founded in ordinances or other such policy. This is my home. I will not tolerate any disturbance of my peace thereon. Sign my name. Today is December 30th. And this will be turned into the Fairfield Bay Community Club.